Hey, what is going on viewers? Zesty Lime Studios here and welcome back to another drinks review. Today we're viewing this Starbucks double shot espresso thing. So I've got this out of uh, Tesco's actually, and I think it was an offer for, I think it was like 140 or something like that, or 150, I think so. I can't remember the full price, but anyways, so let's give you guys a 4360 of the can. So a very small can, obviously this is literally two, obviously shots uh, in one can. So it's basically, yeah, like double espressos in one can, hence why it's very small. It's only 200 mil, obviously that's a lot in the terms of um obviously espressos in the grand scheme of things but yeah most of the can is silver as you can see a little bit of brown going around the top of the can and then there's also just the usual starbucks logo and stuff and then the lines going across the front to just make it look a bit more fancy we just got the ingredients and stuff on the, uh, both backs of the side on the bottom we've got nothing and the top everything's all standard and silver including the pull ring so taking a close look at the can so it says espresso plus milk so starbucks double shot espresso two times espresso so it's it's literally a cold concentrated shot of two espressos basically so read in the back of the thing so it says enjoy cold and shake gently yes shake gently so it doesn't explode everywhere 200 mil uh, the sugar content is quite high to be fair of 8.6 grams per 100 ml so it is quite high in sugar a uh, milk drink with Starbucks uh, Arabica coffee ingredients, basically just usual stuff, nothing else of interest. But the main point is the caffeine content. So it's got 47 milligrams of caffeine per 100 mil. And this is obviously 200 mil. So it's got about, what, 95, 95, 96, 95, whatever, um, milligrams of caffeine in total in this entire thing. Now, bearing in mind, energy drinks contain around the average of 32 milligrams of caffeine per 100 mil now bearing in mind let's base it off a 500 mil energy drink for example obviously 32 milligrams of caffeine uh, obviously times 500 mil you're talking over 100 milligrams of caffeine so again it's a misconception that people think um you know it depends because people will happily drink you know maybe three four of these a day yet yeah, one 500 mil energy drink does contain more than this specific drink but in general coffee does contain more because like i said it's higher per milligram but obviously this is literally just a small double shot uh, example. But the point being is, you know, you drink one and you drink, people think, oh yeah, you're gonna die with caffeine overdose. Yeah, people drink three, four, five of these, many cups of tea which has caffeine in it and a normal coffee as well. So just think about that. Anyways, apart from that, nothing else of interest on the packaging. So it's nice and cold. Got my Zesty Lime Studios cups. Nevertheless, let's um, shake it gently and then we're gonna pour it into there. So as it's only a 200 mil thing, obviously we're gonna pour it all into the cup because it's only gonna fill up a little bit of the cup. So I'm gonna shake the generous, because even though these obviously, obviously aren't fizzy, uh, these cold coffee drinks are generally quite pressurized. So you know, I really don't trust these and I have quite bad luck with exploding uh, coffee or milk shake drinks going everywhere. In fact, I might get a tissue actually just to make sure right so that's i think that's shaking cold enough so i'm just going to grab a tissue which is just behind me just to make sure my tissue box over there because i do not want this going over my desk or my computer screens are just there so the question is what color is it going to be well we all know it's going to be brown and hopefully just taste of nice normal coffee although it, sh it should be quite strong now i say it should be quite strong right hopefully it doesn't explode over me and bear in mind i've barely shaken it so just bear that in mind Uh, I think we were lucky, had no browning at all on the top, so we got quite lucky there, can't complain at that. So, let's see, I think any more shaking and it would have exploded. Right, and the colour is? Surprise, surprise. Oops, there we go. I thought it a bit more than, it, than, it was, um, than I was thinking, to be fair. I was thinking it would be a little bit less, but... Anyway, just the colour is a light brown, as you can see. It's non-see-through, as you cannot see my face through the drink. Thickness-wise, now remember, guys, it's not a milkshake. It's not advertised as thick. It's not meant to be thick, you know, blah, 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 blah. So, um, obviously, thickness isn't the main point of this drink. And, yeah, it does seem pretty thin and watery. 
it doesn't seem too thin thin though i mean it is running off the side so again it's not that thick but i've seen a lot, a lot thinner but yeah it isn't really sticking that much but like i said it doesn't really matter because it's not a milkshake anyways let's give it a closer smell and see what it smells of yeah it just smells of coffee yeah it smells of coffee well nevertheless guys let's taste some Initial reaction, we know it's a double shot and very sweet. Uh, sweet, yes, yeah, sweet. I was gonna say, very sweet. Initial reaction to it. In fact, too sweet. It's not strong enough coffee, in all honesty. It's way too sugary. You can literally taste the sweetness, which surprises me because I think people generally have an espresso shot when it's a stronger coffee blend. But as always, these cold coffee variety drinks in Superbox. They always seem to just be loaded up on sugar unless you get like a like a skinny version or a light version or whatever they're called. Yeah, with coffee, they're generally called skinny, aren't they? So unless you get like a skinny one, which there wasn't of this. Um, yeah, it's just like a smaller version of a normal cafe latte drink. So obviously all the normal cold coffee drinks, which are in the big cartons or the normal kind of weird plastic lid things or whatever they are, this is basically the same thing. You wouldn't even know it's double shot espresso. I just really cannot taste the coffee that much. It's just way too sweet. I mean, yeah, it's it's smooth, which is nice as it should be. You know, it's smooth and stuff. Thickness, yeah, it's not really that thick-ish really, but again, it's not about the thickness. So that's not a bad point. But um, when I drink this, I just think, and I'm not a fan of Starbucks. I much prefer Costa or Greg's or something like that. Greg's coffee um but again I drink so I just think I just think why like if you make your own espresso where you actually want a proper solid hit of coffee taste or literally just drink the normal the, the bigger coffee drink in the carton and then you can have more of it you know you can drink more get the skinny one so you haven't got to worry about the sugar and then there's your answer but in all honesty it's just it's just like what's the point I'm just going to drink a load of sugar in there and you better off just drinking a couple more cups of normal coffee to get the caffeine caffeine hit that you want but yeah it's not disgusting obviously like I still taste of coffee but it's just way more sweeter than you know it should be yeah okay but the question is how many zesties shall I give this out of 10 well I think I'm going to give this in all honesty, I probably think maybe a, I think maybe a five to one. So if you bounce up in the middle, because, well, yeah, like I said, nothing special, but not disgusting, but, you know, less than the sugar a little bit, maybe make the coffee a tad stronger, and then we could talk about double espresso shots. But yeah, five zesties out of 10. Anyways, viewers, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all later. <music>